Okay, so factoring is one of those um, concepts that um, a lot of students struggle with. Um, the main reason is because there are seven different techniques of factoring. Uh, you have to be able to look at the polynomials that you're working with, and you have to be able to decide, all right, what am, how am I going to factor? Which method am I going to use? So I'm going to take each technique and just do one short video per technique. So that way you can um, access whichever video you need practice on. So the first one I'm going to do is greatest common factor, or GCF. So GCF stands for greatest common factor, OK? So here's what you're looking for. You're looking for something in common in every single term in the polynomial. You want the highest value that you can factor out. And it needs to be a value that when you multiply it by what's left, you're going to end up with getting the original problem. Okay, So you're looking for the factors. What times what gives you your original problem? So I have two polynomials here. The first one, we're going to look at it. And I want you to look at it in terms of the coefficients, which is the number in front. And then I also want you to look at the exponent. Okay, So here's the idea. You want the highest number that you can pull out of all terms and the lowest exponent. Highest number, lowest exponent. So here we go. I have 14x cubed, I have 7x squared, and I have 21x. Well, when you look at 14, 7, and 21, you think, all right, what's in common? What can be divided out of all of those? So I can divide out 7. OK, so 7, let me get a pencil, that, or a pen that actually you can see. So 7 is the number that will be divided out evenly. Now I look at my variables. I have an x cubed, x squared, x to the first. Okay, x to the first is the lowest exponent. So I'm going to take out x to the first. What's left is when I divide this 7x out of each of these terms. So 14 divided by 7 is 2. x cubed divided by x to the first. So this goes back to our exponent rules. So this is, we're dividing, so this is the quotient rule. So I'm going to subtract 3 minus 1. So remember, when there's no exponent there, it's an assumed 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So 7x from 14x cubed is 2x squared. Use the same sign. 7 divided by 7 is 1. I don't need to write it. x squared divided by x. So again, I'm subtracting my exponents. So I just get x to the first. Same sign. 21 divided by 7 is 3. x divided by x is 1. So it cancels. So anytime you divide out the exact same variable, it cancels to 1. And I'm done. Now, how do you check these? Multiply it back through. 7x times 2x squared gives me 14x cubed. 7x times x gives me 7x squared. 7x times 3 gives me 21x. Super easy to check these. You should never get them wrong, because if you just take the time to multiply it back through, you should always come back to the original. These are the factors that give you that when you multiply. OK, let's try the next one. So I have 35x to the fifth, negative 25x to the fourth, and negative 5x squared. So I look at my numbers first the coefficients, and I see that there's a 5 in common. So I'm going to factor out a 5. Now I look at my exponents. I have x to the fifth, x to the fourth, x squared. I pick the smallest exponent, so x squared. And then what's left goes on the, <coughs> excuse me, on the inside of parentheses. So 35 divided by 5 is 7. x to the fifth divided by x squared is x cubed, because I'm subtracting the exponents. Use the same sign. 25 divided by x is 5. x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared, because 4 minus 2 is 2. Minus 5 divided by 5 is 1. x squared divided by x squared is also 1. Do not forget the 1, all right? If you have a trinomial in the beginning, you should have a trinomial inside the parentheses. Right? You shouldn't just leave it blank because it factors to 1 or it cancels to 1. And then again, I check 5x squared times 7x cubed, 35x to the fifth. 
5x squared times negative 5x squared, negative 25x to the fourth. 5x squared times negative 1 gives me negative 5x squared. And that's factoring greatest common factor.